This Arduino Pro Mini uses over 600 times less power than a traditional Pro Mini, using a couple of simple changes which cost around $2 to make. If you've watched my earlier videos then you may have seen that I've tried something similar before. I stripped down an Arduino Pro Mini by removing the power LED and onboard voltage regulator until we are able to achieve a standby current draw of just 5 microamps. This method would work for a wide range of applications, but not having a voltage regulator on board has complications for voltage sensitive devices and circuits, so we're going to look at replacing it with a regulator which has a much better quiescent current. If you don't know what this means, the quiescent current is basically the current that the device consumes at no load, or in a non-switching condition. So for a regulator, this would be the current being drawn by the regulator with no load connected to it. The standard regulator on an Arduino Pro Mini is typically a Micrel MIC5205, which is reasonably efficient under load but is quite poor under low load, meaning that it wastes quite a lot of energy when the Arduino isn't drawing much current from it. This is usually fine for general battery powered projects, which run for a couple of minutes or even an hour or two, but it becomes a problem if you're going to try build ultra low power projects which need to last a few months on a single charge of a battery. Also, quite a few people pointed out in the last video that the capacity listed on the batteries I used last time was ridiculous and that they are probably fake. So I'm throwing those out and I've got new 3000 mAh Sony 18650 cells. Let's start by having a look at where we got to previously. We started off by testing a standard 3.3V Arduino Pro Mini with no modifications. We found that it drew 4.5mA from a 3.7V battery when running the pre-installed Blink Sketch. We then used the low power script to put the Arduino to sleep between blinking. If you're building ultra low power projects, then a key part of getting a longer battery life is to look at how often information is measured and updated, and to make use of the time between these operations to put the Arduino into a low power state. I'm not suggesting that you take measurements once a day or once an hour, but even waking up to take measurements or check conditions for one second in every 10 seconds will make your batteries last almost 10 times longer than without sleeping. This low power mode modification reduced the current draw to just 1.5 mA, so we've got around a three-fold improvement without doing anything to the hardware. Next we're going to look at some hardware modifications we can make to further reduce the power consumption. We're going to be looking at the small surface mount components on the Arduino PCB, so I'm going to be using this digital microscope which Decorn have sent me to give you a closer look. If you enjoy tinkering with electronics and small PCBs, then a microscope like this is a great workshop tool. This digital microscope from Decorn has a sturdy all aluminium stand with an adjustable arm to mount the microscope on. It's also got a 7 inch high definition color display which is mounted directly onto the microscope for a live video feed. The microscope also has onboard still photo and 1080p video options. So you can record what you're having a look at as well, which is what I'm going to be using for this video. The photos and videos are saved directly to a supplied 32GB microSD card, or you can hook the microscope video feed up to your computer through USB and record the video directly. One feature I also really liked is that the microscope is charged using a micro USB cable, and it's got a built-in 3000mA battery, so it can run without any cables for around 6 hours. If you're interested in getting one of these microscopes, they're available on Amazon. I'll put a link to them in the video description. The next modification was to remove the onboard power LED. This little LED is on whenever the Arduino is powered, which is great when it's on your bench, but just wastes power in an enclosure. We removed this LED last time by just clipping it off. This time we're going to do it with a heat gun. This had a massive impact on the current draw, reducing it to 0.05 mA or 54 microamps, so 25 times less power than in low power mode. This translates to an additional 2900 days of runtime just by removing the LED, which would likely have been covered anyway. We then found that removing the voltage regulator resulted in another significant improvement.
The board now consumes just 6 microamps. So we can tell from this test that our regulator was using around 50 microamps by itself. So we're going to have a look at whether we can change this regulator for a more efficient one. The regulator I'm going to be using is a microchip MCP1700, which is a 33 volt 250 milliamp regulator, which is designed to have a low quiescent current. One thing to note with this regulator is that it's only rated for an input voltage of up to 6 volts, so you won't be able to use it to 12 volts like a standard Pro Mini. There's an alternative in the MCP1702, which has a slightly higher quiescent current, but allows input of up to 13.2 volts. An issue with the onboard regulator on the Pro Mini is that it's a bit of an uncommon form factor, having 5 legs. Most voltage regulators you'll see look more like the MCP1700, having 3 legs. So we can't just directly replace the one on board with a better one. But fortunately there's an easy workaround. We're just going to use a through hole version of the MCP1700. We still need to remove the surface mount one, making sure that you don't damage any of the surrounding components. We're then going to connect the legs of the regulator to the VCC ground and raw pins on the Arduino. Doing this takes the voltage being applied to the raw and ground pins and supplies the regulator 3.3 volts to the Arduino's VCC circuit. Now that we've done this, let's have a look at whether Arduino still works and how much power it uses. So the blink sketch is still running and we're now only using 7 microamps which is substantially better than the 54 being used by the old regulator. So we've now got an Arduino which still has a regulated power supply and uses 600 times less power than the original Pro Mini, which means that this Arduino would run for almost two years on a battery which would have only powered the original Pro Mini for a day, and it's still running the same blink operation as the original. So you've now got more battery capacity available to power your other I.O. devices, and you can use batteries with a long shelf life like non-rechargeable lithium batteries to power your Arduino for 5-10 to 10 years without ever touching it. Let me know in the comments section what you'd use one of these modified Arduinos to power. Thanks for watching, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.